Hi friends, winter is already at the door, and as you know, cold air from the street gets to our apartments, heats up and takes away moisture from the air that is already there. And as a result, we get dry air due to which our skin gets dry, from cracks in our hair and houseplants as damage as well. Therefore, before it's too late, today we will make a cool automatic air humidifier. The body of the humidifier we will make from the such a food container which you can buy from the any household goods store and such a just in box for the wires from the electric shop. Also we need some electronic components from AliExpress. Firstly the basis of humidifier ultrasonic evaporator which operates on 24 volt voltage comes from the power supply. The power supply has plug for the fits valve for evaporator. Further, our evaporator will be smart one, it will be equipped with a humidify sensor and brains in face of the Arduino Nano platform. The sensor itself is like this, it's popular DTH11 that measures temperature and humidity. You can also take DHT22, it's much more accurate but it's slightly more expensive. To adjust the desired humidity level, we will use the potentiometer of 10 kW. We will control the evaporator with the help of power key model on the MOSFET. I usually use open transistor, but today I decided to use more self-made one for beginners. And it will slightly simplify the assembling. Obviously, it has an exit entrance and control pin. Why not to take relay? Well, the relay makes click sounds and it irritates me. To create a tight jet of water vapor, we will drive this very steam with a small fan. We have power supply of 24 volts and fan and Arduino needs about, well, we take down converter. For the indication I wanted to use 3 color LEDs and 220 ohm resistors, but then I dropped the idea. I also wanted to use the liquid lava sensor to turn it on the red LED when the water is over. You can find links to all the electronic and the description under the video. First of all, we cut off the plug from the evaporator as it doesn't need any more. But we need it, we will stick it into the power supply. On the container you need to fix the junction box by drilling. For the evaporator we need to conduct a wire, so we drill again. You might ask why to drill such a large hole? Well, there is such a soft rubber stopper on the wire of the evaporator, it will ensure tightness. The screws fixing the box to the container are also sailed with the pieces of the rubber from the bicycle tube and we will cut off the extra wire from the evaporator leaving a small tail to connect. We fix the fan on the lead and two screws will be enough. Also to make it less vibrate in bars it is better to screw all four of them. And even better to do it through the elastic band. Just mark the circle on which you need to make an air inlet. So now we have air supply to the container. We will start to assemble the electronic according to the scheme. Look it again, while you can also download the picture on the project page. The link is in the description below. The small feature of the circuit is that the transistor controls both 12 and 24 volt voltage simultaneously. The pluses of receivers are connected to receivers, but the earthen is broken by most feet. By connecting the power supply and the down converter, we adjust the output voltage to 10 and 12 volts by rotating the adjusting crew. The power circuit is ready, the plug from the power unit goes to the model with a transistor, from this it goes parallel to the down converter, from the down converter to Arduino and to the fan. The output from the power switch goes to the evaporator. From the three color LEDs I choose two single color LEDs, blue will illuminate the jet of steam and the red will illuminate the container. We connect them through the resistors as in the diagram. Well, everything is connected. Here's the sensor turn into diodes and power section with a fan. I wanted to install a liquid lava sensor, but actually it is better to pour distilled and demineralized water into the evaporator, otherwise scale will form. And in the distilled water the liquid lava sensor will not work. This evaporator has its own level sensor, and without water it will not turn on and burn. We put the electronic parts on the description box and fix the red lead. Make a hole under the torsion of the potentiometer, so setting the humidifier under its body too. Excellent! 
Now we need to make an exit window for the steam on the opposite side of the sensor. The window will throw the steam at the upward and forward angle, so the outgoing vapor will be carried away from the sensor and will not interfere the measurements. To set the airflow from the fan to the direction of travel to the exit window and protect the fan from the steam, we can use the box from the CD. With the help of the plexiglass cutter we cut out the desired piece. We soften the plastic with a light and band it. And fasten it to the container, one such cock will be enough. Now we glue the lead to the window and release some space for the vertical walls. Then cut out the triangular walls and fix using the hot glue. So the steam flow will come out smoothly without these walls, it will be puff and swirls, and the steam even spread around the humidifier and get to the sensor. I guess it's done, now just remains to program the Arduino so that it controls all the electronics. We connect to the computer by USB. Then we go to the project page and download the archive. This is what the firmware looks like. At the very beginning, the sensor type is indicated 11 or 22. Then, according to the scheme, the voltage is applied to the necessary pins, the sensors initialize, and work begins. Every second we get humidity from the sensor, we compare it with the humidity set at the potentiometer. If the installed one is more, turn the evaporator fan and LEDs, if less, turn it off. First, I want to make a relay controller with hysteresis. But then I thought the humidity was pretty inertial and the system can work even without hysteresis. So we'll load the program and it's possible to humidify. But I want to show you something else as well. If you have watched my recent video about the trash can with automatic lead, then most likely you remember XOD visual programming under Arduino. While well, working in XOD is an easier way to create your own project. Based on Arduino sense, you don't need to learn programming languages. It's enough to spend a couple of evenings studying the tools of XOD. The most important thing is that having mastered this platform, you will be able to make projects that are not inferior to projects written manual on C. Download the XOD version for the computer from the official site and run it. So, a new project. We check out the secret while I use some calculation for power and earthing. And some will be controlled by the command directly, which are MOSFET in LEDs. The entire program in XOD is represented as nodes and blocks with inputs and outputs. We need a digital output node. The signal line of the MOSFET is connected to the second part. Power sensor and third part. Earthing sensor with fifth part, apply zero. We show where the LEDs are connected without touching the output. Further, the potentiometer of adjustment is connected to the first analog part. And the DTH11 sensor is located at the hardwood folder. Connect to the port number 4. Everything we have configured all necessary parts and set them to necessary signals. And also connected the sensor. In the environment of Arduino it looks like this. Let's see if everything works correctly by running debugging. It's very convenient to work here, I am sure that all Arduino users will agree with me. Now we take the watch nodes clean to all nodes, which must give some values. This is our potentiometer and two outputs from the sensor, temperature and humidity. Then we upload the project to the Arduino by selecting the desired board, boards model and also by clicking the debug. Oops, it doesn't work. I forgot to put power on sensor. Now it's fine. Temperature is 26, humidity 15% and the potentiometer changes from 0 to 1. For greater clarity you can draw a humidity scale for customization. I'm drawing the division as per the debug value from the computer. So now everything is working as it should, the debugging nodes can be deleted. Now we need to compare the values from the potentiometer and humidity since the range they have are the same, from 0 to 1. For this there is a node called less. We connect it and now if the humidity value from the sensor is less than that set by potentiometer, then from the pink pin will come a logical signal true or 1. And look, if you impulse the signal true to the port nodes, they will turn on.
that is, within the power switch and two LEDs. Here it is for you for comparison, what project looks like on XOD and now it looks on C++. I think the advantage of XOD and teams of span of development is clearly understandable. The same trivial display is connected and used in this way. Simply set the first line, the second line and it's possible to improve the humidifier so that it shows for example a current humidity, the set humidity and the air temperature. As for humidifier, we pour water, preferable distillated one. We connect the power supply, set the desired level and the humidifier will automatically start to maintain the humidity at this level. Including turning off the evaporator and blowing. I try to achieve maximum protection of the sensor from the steam. The jet of steam flies away quite far and should not hit the sensor at all. But if you put the humidifier in the front of the flat surface, the steam can fly to the sensor, so put it for example to the angle of the table so that the steam flies away, and even better on the closet or shelf. The operation of the device will be as correct as possible and now it will be possible to calmly ventilate the room in any frost, and no need to be afraid that the air will become too dry and unpleasant for animals and plants. That's all for today, thank you for your attention, don't forget to subscribe in order not to miss the new interesting projects. Till next time, bye!